Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to my channel, Do Ministry Gaming. And today I'm gonna to be showing you the tool, uh, Awakened POE Trade. It is a trade macro tool uh, and it is absolutely incredible. If you do any kind of trading or play on any kind of trade league, this is almost a must have tool. It is that good. All right, so let's get right into it. Uh, Awaken POE Trade is a trade macro. It allows you to check the prices of your items very quickly in game without having to tab out because it works as an overlay. And so first of all, uh, you can download the Awaken POE Trade in the link in the description below. Uh, and the install is very quick and uh, it runs on very little uh, system memory as well. It is just a small program that you run and on the side in parallel to Path of Exile and sits in your system tray. And when you use any of its commands, it pulls up an overlay uh, on top of your game uh, so that you don't have to tab out uh, to do any of the functionality. Now, I've prepared a bunch of items in our inventory here so that we can do some price checking uh, and show you how the tool works. So we're gonna start with this, uh, some of these sort of easier items to price check. So I'm gonna start with this abandoned wealth here. Basically, I'm gonna hit Control Alt D, which is the shortcut to, default shortcut to pull up the list overlay here. And you can see a few things right away. So this is a list of all the abandoned wealth cards that are on the market right now, currently listed as if you were searching this card on POE trade, right? So there's the price, there's the stock of how many cards are being sold and the uh, time that it was listed. So the text is a little small and I can't get it bigger, unfortunately, but uh, that's this is basically looking it up on POE trade. And you can see there's one going for six divines, and then 0.6 exalts, a bunch of 0.6 exalts, 0.7 exalts, 58, 59C. So right away at a glance, I can already tell that this card is probably worth about 60 chaos. And that's probably around the price that I am going to list at if I were to do it. It even offers you a suggestion on the price, a predicted price based off of its algorithm. And it's telling me that I can probably sell this for 59 chaos. And so that serves as a bit of a gut check in terms of how much you can price it for. Uh, and so to click out of this overlay, you just click off and you're back in game. We're gonna move on to this infused beachhead map. Same thing, control alt D pulls up a list of infused beachhead maps on the market. And when they were listed, 45C, 0.6X, 0.6X, 50C, 50C, 55C, and then a predicted price of 44C in terms of how it will sell. You know, I'm I'm going to ignore that price. In, in this case here, if I were to sell it, I'd probably list it somewhere around that 50, 55C, just based off the listings, as if I was looking this up on POE trade. So again, click off. We're going to move on to this physical to lightning support gem 2023. So when you pull up something like this, it, it will always pull up the relevant information that you need, right? So for a gem, you, you know, the relevant things to look at are level and quality. And so here I see a 50C for a level 2023 listed 13 days ago, 50C 2023 listed two days ago, 1X 2023. There's also a 1X 2123. And then from there, these are all 2123s. And so, uh, you know, just from this, maybe I listed around 50C. Uh, again, it's got a, a uh, uh, predicted price about 45c it also has a small trend if you know i don't know if you noticed from the other items too in terms of how the price of this particular item has changed in the last seven days so you can kind of see is it trending up is it trending down uh, etc etc so again to click off all right so uh, to move on here i've got a couple unique items prepared to look at we've got a belly of the beast and a watcher's eye and for both of these items um, there is a range of different role types that can go on these items, which can drastically increase the uh, price of the item. So let's start with the belly of the beast. As you are probably familiar, there is a range of roles on the increased maximum life, 30 to 40%, and a range of roles on the all elemental resistances, 10 to 15%. And uh, as you probably all already know as well, uh, depending on how those roll can pretty drastically change the price of the belly of the beast. Now, right now we are end of league, so there might not be too much variation however certainly beginning of the league or mid league uh, that has a drastic change in price uh, the better it rolls uh, and so you do want to be aware of when you're looking up the item that you're not uh, selling a very good item for very cheap so let's see what that looks like when I pull up the overlay so when I pull up the overlay uh, you can see right away here the first thing is it this is a five link item so it is looking up five link belly of the beast so the listings are 20c 20c 30c 
45C, 50C, etc. If I had turned that off, you can turn it off by just clicking on it and searched again. You can see now it's not searching up five link belly of the bees, just any belly of the bees, and it's down to two, three, three C, four C, uh, etc. So let's turn that back on, and here's the uh, list of five link belly of the bees. Now, right off the hop, what it's looking up is simply five link belly of the bees. This is all the five link belly of the bees on the market. It doesn't take any of the stats into consideration. This is simply what is out there for five link. Now, like I said, for belly of the bees, depending on what your maximum life roll is, you can have a drastic difference in price, right? So let's start honing in on some of these stats. Now, um, uh, these stats are now populated on the overlay. Anything that has a roll that, that has a range and uh, the actual numbers that the item rolled are on here. So 174 armor, 34 life, and 11 all res. Those are what exactly rolled on my item. And those are also represented by the dashed lines on the bar. Uh, the bar is representing the minimum roll and the maximum roll, of course. And then on the right for each of these, there's actually text boxes where you can type in numbers as well for the min and the max. And it will always default numbers here to whatever your item is minus 10%. I think uh, and that is a setting that you can set inside the settings of the uh, Awaken POE trade. So right now, though, like I said, it's not looking up anything with any of these stats. However, if I start ticking them off, if I start ticking this and this, now uh, the list doesn't look like it's changed much because uh, these are all low rolls. But what it's doing now is it's specifically looking for uh, five link belly of the beast that have increased maximum life and uh, all res at a minimum of 32 and 10. So in order to increase that, let's say we want to look at a 40% max life, we can either type it into the text box on the right, or we can drag this gray bar over to whatever you want it to be. Now let's say we want it at 40. <coughs> so now we're looking at five link belly of the beasts that have minimum of 40 increased max life and a minimum of 10 uh, all elemental resistances. And as you can see now, the list has uh, tightened up a bit. All those 20C belly of the beasts are gone. They, or there's only one for 30C and 55C 1X. Let's even tighten up that up further. Let's see if we can find a perfect belly of the beast. Let's move this all elemental resist up to 15 as well. So now it has to be 40 and 15, five link. Let's search that up. And there you have it. These are 2.2 exalts, 7 exalts, and 10 exalts. And so for unique items, you know, uh, a lot of them have the similar property where, you know, maybe a low roll uh, sells for uh, some pretty bad, but at a very good roll, it can sell for very good. So for items like these, make sure you use these um, uh, range bars and put in the range of the item that you want. Now, if you just want to look up exactly what your item is going to sell for you can just drag the gray bars or the minimums to that dashed line hit the search make sure the tech tick check boxes are on then you can see what they're selling for and you can sell your item accordingly all right so next is a watcher's eye and as you know there watcher's eye can it can be drastically different in price depending on the roles that you get so if i just pulled up this three stat watcher's eye as you can see, all the uh, you know all the all the stats are on here again, so that you can check them off. However, the price list right now is five C, seven C, nine C, ten C, and again, this is because it's pulling literally every Watcher's Eye out there without anything specific at all. So for something like Watcher's Eye, you got to be very careful not to just control Alt D. Oh, five C, I'm going to sell this for five C because this particular one will sell for a lot more. Uh, and so you can take off and be as specific as you want. Uh, but I happen to know on this uh, watcher's eye that the valuable um, stat on here is this 22% damage over time multiplier while affected by malevolence. Uh, and as you can see, it can roll from 18 to 22. There's a range on that as well. But even as soon as I tick it uh, and I hit search, you can see now all of a sudden there, they are at a minimum of 10 exalts uh, if it has a 21% minimum roll. So if I drop this down to 18%, for example, I can see nine exalt uh, uh, watcher's eye now. So from here, you can, of course, again, go as specific as you want. And for something like a watcher's eye in particular, uh, it can get very specific. Let's just say I had a second mod on here that was quite good. Let's say this regen 
uh, life with uh, Vitality is is good. And I know it's going to add value to the watcher's eye as well. Uh, let's tick that off. So let's, we got right now 9x, 10x, 11x, 13x. Let's check that. Hit the search. And the only watcher's eye out there that has these two mods on it is going for 30 exalts. And so uh, if this was actually something that people are going to buy, uh, I certainly would want to list it around that 30 exalts and not the 9 or 10 exalts and definitely not uh, 5C. So now the final item let's just do here is I've got this rare item here, uh, Vol Regalia. It's influenced, it's six link. So let's pull that up here. Uh, so right away, you can see there's some things. Uh, it is a six link here, uh, item level 86, three white sockets, Crusader, uh, one of eight stats. Now you can tick on and off these boxes, like I say, if you want it to be very specific things. Uh, but in this case, let's just leave it to the default. Uh, it's got a predicted price uh, for so for rare items, it has a predicted price and it has it's got a confidence level too. And so it's only 49% confidence in its own price. But right now it's saying it's 40x. Let's see just you know if if we can come up to that same value or if we think it's actually worth more. So right now uh, it's got all the stats loaded on here and it is looking up specifically energy shield right now it has um my item has 663 energy shield and it's looking up items with a minimum of 596 energy shield and it's looking at nothing else so if it just looked up a six link three white socket uh, 596 energy shield item here are all the listings 2.5x 3x 3x but i know this is worth more uh or i think it is so i want to be more specific because i've got some pretty nice rolls here right so i i know this is an in stacking chest so I know intelligence is good. I know percent intelligence is good. Uh, along with 600 yes, this is a pretty hard combination to roll. And so let's just see what that looks like. And now all of a sudden they're 80x, 90x, 200x. So is 40x a little cheap? Probably, yeah. And that's why it's only 49% confident. If I were actually to sell this chest, I'd probably sell it closer to this range here. But I'm also curious, you know, let's say, uh, are there any at 500 ES? you know, with the same intelligence stats that sell for less. Because if I'm a buyer, maybe I say I don't need quite 600 ES. Maybe I'm okay with 500 ES if it's going to save me 40 exalts. But the answer is no. Even at 500 ES, they're going for 80 exalts. But let's drop that to 400 ES. Let's, let's do that now. And you can see now there's some 65, 70 exalts if there's the T1 int and the T1% intelligence. So from here, and even uh, another cool thing that you can do is there's these buttons over here. You can, uh, this trade button pulls it up in game within the overlay. And this one on the right here will take you to uh, outside of the game into a web browser. But I'm gonna do the one in game and I'm gonna show you. Clicking that button actually pulls up POE trade itself within the overlay. You're not even tabbed out. You're still in the game right now. And um, and it functions exactly the website. It's auto-populated all the stats just like you did in the overlay. And it's clicked on all the ones that you had clicked on in the overlay. And it's got all the ranges. So if you literally want to search this up in POE Trade, you can click that button and adjust the filters as you please there. And then you can see all of the uh, alternatives out there, all the ones that are listed. Uh, the text is a little small on the video here, but you'll certainly be able to see it in the game. Uh, but anyway, uh, that one for 65 exiles going, you can see what the stats are on that. The 90x, you can see the stats on that. And you can make your own judgment call on your own item and make the comparison that way. All right, and then just to ex exit out of the screen, we just hit the little X up here and we're uh, back in the game out of the overlay. And so uh, basically that is how Awaken PoE trade works. It is super fast pulling up... Um, items and uh and value and how to price your stuff it's very easy to manipulate if your item has a range of of uh, stats that you want to narrow down and look up instead of going on a poe trade and typing in all of the all of the modifiers and then you know typing in the range itself uh this is very convenient because it auto populates it that way so that's the trade portion of the awaken poe trade macro uh there are a couple other things that i found quite useful personally that i will show you so basically if you hit shift space you'll pull up another part of the overlay and right here is a syndicate cheat sheet.
So I found this personally very useful. I don't have to tab out and go to a website and search it up anymore. I can just pull it up when I'm running Syndicate. This has been uh, amazingly useful uh, for me. Uh, and so I really like that functionality. So I wanted to show you. Uh, there are some other ones like map roll and dump sorting. I don't find ads useful, but you can uh, definitely learn more about that yourself. But one other thing I do find uh, decently useful is that you can actually pull up uh, an item on the wiki. Let's say this infused beachhead. I go Alt W. It pulls up another tab. It pulls up the wiki page for the item. So occasionally that can be pretty useful as well. All right, everybody, there you have it. That should be everything you need to know to at least get started with the Awaken PoE Trade Overlay. Uh, I got to say, I used PoE.Trade for uh, many years before this, and this uh, tool has been an amazing upgrade, and I'll even say has changed my life when it comes to PoE uh, since I play a lot of trade leagues. So I definitely recommend it. Uh, to try it out. It is one of the top tools. I don't use a ton of tools and I would highly recommend this one. I will put out a couple more videos for a couple other tools I find uh, as useful as this one as well and are very, very well put together by uh, members of the community. So look for those. Uh, but uh, otherwise, that's it. That's everything you need to know. So uh, thank you very much for watching the video. I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, please, as usual, like and subscribe. I also stream on Twitch Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Times, of course, are in the description below. Come and check it out. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time.